Good evening and welcome to this special edition of 22 News at 11. I'm Barry Krieger. And I'm Ashley Afonso. Incumbents were easily victorious in the two biggest races in the state tonight. Some controversial ballot questions have also been decided. Let's get right to the results. Senate Democrat Elizabeth Warren has won a second term in the U.S. Senate. She defeated Republican State Representative Jeff Deal, who was the Massachusetts co-chair of Donald Trump's 2016 campaign. Independent candidate Shiva Idurai was a distant third. Warren was first elected to the Senate in 2012 when she defeated incumbent Republican Senator Scott Brown. And Republican Governor Charlie Baker has been re-elected to a second four-year term. Baker and Lieutenant Governor Karen Polito turned back a challenge from Democrat Jay Gonzalez, a former state budget official. Baker was first elected in 2014. Voters have rejected mandatory limits on nurse to patient ratios. Ballot question number one would have limited the number of patients assigned to registered nurses in hospitals and certain other care facilities. Opponents had argued that set ratios would jeopardize patient safety. The Massachusetts Nurses Union has conceded defeat on question one. And Massachusetts voters have approved a ballot question stemming from a U.S. Supreme Court ruling on corporate political spending. The measure calls for the creation of a 15-member commission that would be charged with advancing a constitutional amendment that would reverse the 2010 Citizens United decision. The ruling prohibits the government from limiting political spending by corporations, unions, and other groups. And Massachusetts voters said yes to question three. Voters upheld the state transgender rights law. The law protects transgender people from discrimination in public accommodations, including bathrooms and locker rooms, so no change to the law. Question three was the first statewide referendum in the U.S. on transgender rights. And Democrat Maura Healey has been re-elected Massachusetts Attorney General. She defeated her challenger, born attorney James McMahon. Healey beat McMahon by a margin of two to one. And it will be a second four-year term as state treasurer for Democrat Deb Goldberg. Goldberg defeated her Republican challenger, state rep Keiko Orell. The treasurer oversees the state lottery and state pension fund, among other responsibilities. Incumbent Secretary of State Bill Galvin has been re-elected to seventh term in office. He fended off a challenge from his Republican opponent, Anthony Amore. Galvin was first elected to the post in 1994. And Democrat Suzanne Bump will return for a third term as state auditor after defeating Republican Helen Brady. Bump beat Brady by a two to one margin of victory. Congressman Jim McGovern is going back to Washington to serve another term in the United States House of Representatives. McGovern represents the second congressional district. The results aren't final, but right now he's beating his Republican challenger, Tracy LaVorne. Jenny Casey of Oxford is currently the only member of the Republican Party on the eight-member Governor's Council, which votes on judicial nominations. This is a very close race, 51 to 49 percent. She is currently leading her challenger, Worcester attorney Paul DiPaolo, a Democrat. Incumbent Democrat Mary Hurley appears to be on her way to her second two-year term on the governor's council. She's currently winning with more than half of the precincts reporting. She has a large lead over her challenger, independent Mike Franco of Holyoke, a veteran and father's rights advocate. And at this point, former Springfield State Representative Cheryl Coakley Rivera Oh, has just declared herself the winner in the race to be the next Hamden County Register of Deeds. With more than 80% of the precincts reporting, she has 57% well, of the vote. Her Republican challenger, Marie Angelitas, the vice chair of the Long Meadow Select Board, the second place finisher. And Spencer Democrat Ann Gobi is running for her third two-year term in the Senate. She's currently winning her re-election bid in the Worcester, Hamden, Hampshire, and Middlesex district. She faces a challenge this year from Stephen Hall, an inventor and nursing home consultant from Sturbridge. Republican State Representative Todd Smola of Warren leading in the race to represent the 1st Hamden district. He is facing a challenge for re-election by Sturbridge Democrat Tanya Neslusen, a health information technology specialist and political advocate. The second Hampton district of the Massachusetts House is a very close race. Incumbent Democrat Brian Ash is being challenged by Republican Allison Warder, the former president of Mass Live. 
Ash is currently leading with 67% of precincts reporting. Incumbent State Representative Nicholas Boldiga of Southwick has won his re-election bid to the Massachusetts House of Representatives as challenger, Agawam resident and school bus driver Democrat Forrest Bradford. And Democrat Angelo Pupolo has reclaimed his seat in the state legislature. He's defeated independent Donald Flannery, a realtor from Wilbraham. Pupolo has represented the 12th Hampton District for six terms. Democrat East Hampton City Councilor Daniel Carey easily winning the race for the 2nd Hampshire District seat in the House of Representatives. The seat opened this year following the decision by longtime Democratic State Rep John Seibeck to retire. His Republican challenger, Don Peltier of South Hadley, is, uh, has only 19 percent of the vote. Democrat Mindy Dome has won the race to represent the 3rd Hampshire District. First-term Representative Solomon Goldstein Rose left the Democratic Party to become an independent and ended his campaign prior to the primary and endorsed Dome. Two-term State Representative Susanna Whips is leading her race to represent the 2nd Franklin District. She has a handy lead facing a challenge this year from Democrat John Arena, 23-year-old Gill resident. Republican Rep. Donald Berthume of Spencer is currently winning his bid to represent the 5th Worcester District. He's being challenged this year by author and filmmaker Gene Strauss of East Brookfield. Some Western Massachusetts voters also decided some additional non-binding ballot questions. And here are those results.